Okay, so this morning, the guy brought me yesterday <clears throat> that I'm doing this for, uh, the gasket. He uh, sourced this off of uh, eBay. Um, the cam, and the top head here. Uh, it's it's better. It's better than where to go than this one here. It's better. I mean, you see how bad that one was, but um, you know, used parts and all. But and uh, this one here also is better than this one here that we took off. This is the old one, this is the new one. Well, the new used one, so. But yeah, um, we're able to save this. This was okay. Piston was okay. Things, you know, got the book out. Let's get to it. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this on there, so lube it up a little bit with oil here get around here and there it's cold in the shop this morning it's probably like 22 degrees outside and it's like probably 30 in the shop so if I'm going fast, it's because I'm freaking freezing. I got the heater going, but I only had it going for about an hour now. So, let's see here. This. Get that chain going through there. Sometimes those uh, those studs make like the little home for yourself. So you got to kind of like be careful when you're lining this up because there she goes. Here she comes. Okay. Now you hold the thing there. I mean the uh, your wire. So what I like to do, I like to... Uh, Put the wire, can you see that? Yeah, put the wire through this little hole here and kind of make it stay for now. Give it a little bit of slack, but not too much. And then so you can have both hands to pinch your, your, uh, your rings in. So, kind of like, Pinch your rings in as you're going. Come on now. You came out of there, you're going back in there, right? Rock it back and forth a little bit. Give it a little love here and there, you know. Come on. Rock it back and forth. Give her a little love here and there. Turn this a little bit back and forth here. There she comes. There she comes. Come on, baby. Hold on, what's going on here? Huh. Wonder what happened there. So I got two dolls. Looks like I got two dolls lined up at the same spot. Some. <laughs> All right, let's take it back out. How in the heck did we do that? So we got that doll and that doll kind of hanging out together. 
Maybe it popped out and I thought it went there. All right. Well, you know, it don't go there. So where does it go? So you had that fat. Okay, so it looks like it goes. On the opposite one. Okay, that's okay. Minor setback, guys. All right, let's get to it again. Like I said, feed your wire through right here. Okay. All right. Let me feed your, your wire through right here. Kind of give it a little bit of love there. Come on now. Now make sure that your your gaps are not lined up like with each other. You want them to be apart on your uh, on your rings. There we go. All right, let's get back to it. Be, just be patient with it, guys. You know, don't don't rush it because it's gonna bite you in the butt afterwards. It is cold, and I got the, no gloves on. It's cold, buddy. All right, come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just get in there now. Playing around. There we are. Come on. Can't be messing around here. Sorry if I'm sniffling. Like I said, it's cold and shot. So, kind of play around with the studs. You know. They kind of fling out a little bit here and there. So you can pretty much tell where's what's going where and that. Come on now. There we are. Okay, we're back in business again, guys. So line your piston up. Do a little rocking and rolling. Like I said, bring your wire around. Loop it through that hole. Make sure when you do this that your wire is going to be long enough for your end result there, you know. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we're in business there. Okay. Now we're in business there. All right. Okay. down in there just nicely okay now we're going to bring this over ready let me clean this up a little bit and I'll bring you back all right <clears throat> so I clean that up So, oh, got the gasket on the bottom there. All right. This down. Okay. There we are. Loop that back through there. All right, I'll bring you back when I get all the other stuff over here. Okay, so now, if you look down in there, you see that round cylinder right here in that corner? That's where that shaft right there is supposed to go up in there. Then that 
piece of metal with the hook on it hooks right in the that corner right there where my flashlight is shining right there in the corner all right let's do that okay <clears throat> got the uh, tensioners in got the head on now we're going to look at the sprocket here okay now the gentleman provided me with a new cam too well not new but you know so i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this on there you know now the way that you install this lobes down that's how you're going to get your timing right lobes down see that right now here goes your sprocket and it should have like a little tiny dot at the top right there see that right there you can barely see it but it's there so it's got to be at the 12 o'clock position with the lobes down so let's see here we'll take our chain all right make sure that we're in line down there or you line down there we kind of wrap it back and forth a little bit here you know see if we're in line are we in line yeah we're rocking and rolling okay all right so now I'm going to be taking this wire off of here for the first time. Now be very careful not to drop it down in there and then you have to take the whole thing back apart and try to fish that out. And it's it's a bear, believe me. All right, so remember, 12 o'clock position. Try to snake this in there. Best way you could. It's kind of hard doing it. Let me take this this back out here and get a little bit more room for yourself all right let me make sure it's right at the top here oh actually hold on you got to make sure that your your timing markers on right on your flywheel here so now that you got your uh your wire off you can set it so let me show you real quick so let's see here so do you see that T right there you got to be lined up with that little tick right there on the right hand side so just sometimes they're on top on the casing Sometimes they're not. This one is an 80, so those are on the side right here. So make sure that you're at that tick right there. Now, make sure that your sprocket little, little thing there is at the 12 o'clock again. Now you can put your, your sprocket on make sure this is right because this is how you do your timing guys okay it's a tight fit but you can do it a little aggravating but you can do it there you are now lobes down like before okay put it on there might have to do a little fancy footwork here but your lobe's got to be down there you are make sure that you're lined up on your stuff there all right so now you're going to take your tiny your two tiny uh ones like this that's for your sprocket going into your your uh cam there okay kind of rock it back and forth here a little bit 
lobes down. Make sure your lobes are down. Maybe you can pop it a little bit like that. Kind of get it. There you are. Now it popped in. Did you hear that? Lobes down. 12 o'clock. Rock and roll. Now once you get your first one on there, you can kind of rotate it. Sometimes you can get it in there, sometimes you can't. So long as you're set on there, you can turn it to get your stuff right. But make sure that you're for certain that you got that right. Okay? And don't drop it down inside there. You know. Just take your time, like always. Come on now. Got to be sure to be lined up really good with everything. All right, hold on now. So now I got to start over because, oh no, I don't, no, I don't. Okay, these are, are these still down? Yeah, those are still down, okay. Now, should I stick something in there like that? So make sure it's still lined up and then turn it. Yes, okay. All right, yeah, just fool with it a little bit. This, this, uh, this procedure right here is nerve wracking, but it's got to be done right or your timing will be way off. Even one tooth will make a difference, so be careful. You know. There we are. Now you can always go back and double check yourself too. You gotta be damn certain that you're doing this right because like I said this is your this is your uh this is your timing so you know it's really cold in the shop today my hands are freezing there we are now we're getting there. Okay, my first one is on. Okay, let me tighten that one up a little bit. Let me get some tools here. Ten mil. All right, kind of hold your stuff down like that. You know, and rotate it. Put your second one on. Okay. All right, now, I'll bring you back when I get ready to put this one on. Okay, so now when you're putting this rocker assembly on, there's, <clears throat> the, the dowels are going to be lined up. So, you know, like your fat marks and all that, right? You know, like your fat holes, right, you know? So, what I like to do I like to get something like a little piece of wood or something, you know, and kind of tap, tap, 
There it goes. Now it sat. It sat in there. Okay. You know. Alrighty. Now remember, when we took this off, we had uh, washers and nuts. Okay. Now make sure that you put your washers on because you need that little bit of a gap, you know. You know what I mean? So here we are. Need that little bit of a gap. Be careful. All that good stuff. Okay. Now we're going to try to source our, our long bolt. That goes straight through here. There it goes right here. Okay. Make sure it's want the thread in there. You know. There she is. She's threading in now. Alright. She's gonna be kind of rocking and rolling this. You know. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, let me look up the uh, the torque and I'll be right back. Okay. We got that all done. We're going to go ahead and torque these. Uh, it says that it's six to nine foot pounds on the cylinder head camshaft holder nuts. So that's what those are. All right. Now I like using this cobalt because my eyes are getting bad. I probably said it in other videos, but um, I really like this thing. Um, it, it even has inch pounds. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use this. Now sometimes you have to uh, hold this. See how it's kind of rocking back and forth. So sometimes you can just go into here and hold it with the screwdriver and do it like that, you know. So let's uh, six to nine. We're going to go nine. Let's see here. It's on inch pounds right now. You got to change it to foot pounds. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to nine. Okay. Oh, I don't have my socket. Hold on one sec. All right. Make sure it's going the right way. Set at nine. Let's do a crisscross pattern. Okay. Just tighten it up just a tad bit first. Get it seated. And remember, these washers, they fit inside that little half moon groove right there. So you got to be careful so it, it, it's not, uh, you know, cocking on you. So, remember that also, guys. All right. Okay. Just a little bit. Until you start getting a little bit of resistance going on. Kind of jogging back and forth. I can feel it kind of getting almost to the point here. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Now let's go. Oh, that one's a little over. 
There we go. Okay. We got her on there, guys. Okay. Let's uh, do a little this action. Make sure everything's open and closing properly. You know. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you, uh, I can feel the compression. Oh, yeah, the compression is good. Very nice. Alrighty. Very nice, guys. Yep. Very nice. Alrighty. I'm glad. Alright. Oh. Getting a little it's getting a little top heavy there. Stick something underneath there to hold it up a little bit better. Alright, so what do we got next? Okay, we got the, our new used cover here. Pretty clean. Gasket's not ripped or anything like that. So you know. Let's use the one that Oh I'm gonna get ahead of myself. We're gonna go ahead and check the the uh, valve clearance real quick. Okay. Um, I'll let me go try to get my gauge, and I and I'll bring you back. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. These were <coughs> dead on, so I mean, there's no real reason to. Uh, but it's, they're two thousands, so you get it at top dead center, and then you you. Uh, you know, you back out this, you make sure that these are uh two thousandths right in here. But yeah, it, it was it was dead on, so I don't I don't see a reason to to, uh, to back them back off and all that, you know. So yep, moving on. All right, let's see here. There we go. Now these right here were the same torque as our our uh, keeper bolts. I um, mean keeper nuts down there. So what was that? Nine nine foot pounds, right? So let's get these on. It's ten mil. Let me go get my 10 mil for the uh, torque wrench here. Okay. It's still set at 9 foot-pounds, so we're good. Like I said, go back and forth before. <laughs> All right. All righty. That's all good. Let's do a couple rotations here. Make sure everything looks good, feels good. You know? Awesome. 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 Okay. Now, off camera, I, uh, I adjusted that. All right, it feels good. It feels real good, guys. Okay, um, off camera, I uh, I adjusted that that chain tensioner. Sorry, I didn't I didn't film that. I thought I had my button on, but I didn't. Uh, let's see here. What next, people? I think we're getting ready to. Uh, now, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and look at some stuff and uh, get set up over there by the machine, get the machine set up and everything. I mean the bike, you know, I call it a machine. Uh, yeah, now let me get that all set up for you guys. Yeah, I apologize. Um, I couldn't really get a good angle without you just seeing my whole back and backside you know and 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 trying to get this thing in there and moving this around and everything but um uh, what i do is i set it in there and then i just put a screwdriver in this portion here and then kind of you know probe it and then slide the top bolt in first and then pivot the bottom and then get the bottom and 
you know. So now, <clears throat> we'll be putting these, these on here, you know. So, let's see here. Uh, that looks like that's that side. And this side, looks like it's that side. There, there. What's going on here? Like that, I'm thinking. No. Kind of strange, right? Okay, that's that right there. See it? Now, start bolting there. Oh, my bad. Start bolting there. This, can you see? Yeah. All right. That lines up there. Top and bottom. Ready. You get the drift, right? like that guys. Let me get that bottom one wherever that is. Where is that anyways? Oh my goodness. There we go. A little tight fit, but you can get it. You know. It's kind of the same bracket if you ask me for that. But, you know, it's only an 80, so I guess not. But. I didn't build the thing, I just work, work on them. You know. What next here? Okay, we'll do the bracket here. Magneto. Magneto. We'll get in there. Okay, there you go. There we go. I want to hear that click, guys. All right, so put this on there. Well, actually, put this on there. Can you see? Okay. 
steps. The reason why you don't want to tighten up these too much, because you got to kind of wiggle stuff around afterwards. You know, like this, for instance. There we go. So you don't want to tighten any of these up before you get this on because you got to wiggle it a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. This right here, this little keeper. So you got to rotate it until it gets to the right angle. I know it's going to be a pain in the butt. These are, um, these are a pain in the butt to do. So just kind of take your time and be patient with this. These things are a pain in the butt to do. Gotta kind of get in the right groove. There we are. Okay. Gotta lock it in there. Gotta kind of lock it in there. So take that back out. Rotate this a little. Just kind of keep playing with it, guys. You know, because that's what you gotta do with this one. I did have it right. Let's see. All right. She fits in there pretty good like that, right? Just kind of bring it out. Set it on there. Now put on this thing here. Gotta clock it just right. Gotta clock it just right, guys. Or it's not gonna do anything. Can't have it outside like that. You gotta have it inside. Or you got to have a clock just right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and bring you back. All right. Now that we got that all uh, secure, uh, you're just going to have to fool with it. There's not like a, a formula. You just got to get it in that groove, get these tight, make sure that this is all, you know, not bind up or anything like that. You know, um, I went ahead and put this bottom one on off camera. Let's get these things started. To, uh, you know, getting tightened up here. Well, that's not the right size. Try this one. There we go. So 14 millimeter. I'll take that one off in a minute. That one's good. And then what about this one down here? Uh, kind of in the back. I can't really show you that one. This one either. 
kind of like in the back there. Yeah. Tight fits on these, these little guys. All right. I'll go back and torque these down. Uh, you know. But these ones here. Remember, you got to take off that. Going to take that. Uh, that kickstand off for that one, guys. Just the way it is, you know. Just the way it is. If I'm going to be doing motorcycles, I best get a. One of those musty one tables, eh? That'd be pretty cool, huh? Where is that thing? Oh. And that one not. Wasn't shoved in there all the way. Yep, yeah, like I said, guys, it's a tight fit, but you can get it. Just be patient. Like I say, like I always say. Like I always say. Back it out a little bit so you can get that nut behind there. It's a real tight fit. Yeah, it's a real tight fit back here. But you can get it. Trust me, if I can get it, you can get it. Hold on, let me grab a, some needle nose pliers. I gotta try to get that that bolt through with put this nut on the back, but I don't have much room. Let me get some needle nose pliers.
can do it. Okay, got that on. I'm gonna have to take it back off, I seen, because I had to put the kickstand on there later on. But uh, <clears throat> let's see what else here. Let's get the, uh, the fuel tank on that. So you see these little grommets right here? I mean, these little spaces, these grommets go inside there. Let me uh, get you up here. So these right here fit right inside here. Just like ever so slightly. Okay. Nothing fancy. Kind of give it like a little bit of a shove, not too hard. Let it line up with this guy in the back here. Okay. 
and give you a little bit of a love shove, we call it. So you can line up with this guy in the back here. So kind of like fool with it. Bring it up, bring it out, bring it over. You know, kind of get it to line up there. Kind of get it to go inside that hole. So this is the hole that the grommet is supposed to be in. It's kind of a tight fit. It's designed to be a tight fit. But don't try to do it too bit too much because it'll give you a heck of a, a prop. There she goes. See how they just it just popped down in there? Alright. So, let's see here. Ready. Right Just one bolt, but it relies on those grommets. And then it kind of sits down inside there, you'll see. Alright, what else we got? We hook up our fuel line. Here, Alright guys, gotta get down in there. I don't know. Put it on that side. Just whatever side is. Hold on, that's not it. My bad. So my fuel line is kind of stuck up in there a little bit. Hold on. Hold on Not going to sugarcoat it, guys. Messing with these little guys are a pain in the butt sometimes. Because they're just so much smaller than the other guy, you know. It's like they can get a little weird. If you ask me. Okay. Alright. So Good thing that we did that because that line is dry rotted. I just noticed that. Maybe we might be able to get away with. Yeah, this is this is not that bad, but what's on top of there was bad. Let me fish that out, and I'll and I'll bring you back. Yeah, I didn't like the way that it looks. So I put some new fuel line on there. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Cut it to size here. It's pretty strong stuff. It's braided. 
So, there you go. Better than a factory. How about that? All right. Okay, let's put that in there. Let's put this here. All right. Now we just put our seat back together again. Yeah, like I said, you know, it looks easy, but don't underestimate these kind of little jobs like this, guys, because just certain little stuff can, just like that, can kind of, you know, you know, make you want to just scream. But, yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot tighter, too. All right, so got the tank on. Uh, let's see here. That's tight. That's tight. Okay. Okay, so what's next here? Uh, let me bring some more stuff over and I'll bring you back. All right, so we're just kind of buttoned it up. <clears throat> uh, made sure we had spark. Adjust the valves a little bit more. Uh, they're a little bit off, so well, let's see if it'll start without the gas tank here. <laughs> yeah, so let's get everything back on there. And uh, I think we're all set and done. It's pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> put this tank back on again. For how many times? But you know, if you have to do things over and over. You just have to do them. That's all. I gotta get a a better a better. Uh, fuel line. That other one was a little bit stiff and it didn't want to curve around. So we don't want to take no chances with that guys. You know. Don't want to take no chances. Alright. So I'm going to go on down to the Do It Center and uh, get a better fuel line than that. It's just like a temporary fix right there. You know. I don't know. Can I put it underneath there and it'll be alright? Let's see here. Yeah, it's still got like a little kink in it. So I don't, I don't want to get that kink out of there. Yeah, I don't want that fuel line to be kinked. You'd be running out of gas all the time. Okay, I'm just going to take it all off. We're going to go down to the hardware and get a better, uh, better fuel line. So I'll bring you back and then we'll start buttoning everything else up. Okay, so... When I started this a little bit ago, I kind of heard a little bit of that slack in the chain. So we're going to address that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this out. But taking some of this slack out like this. Okay. I'm going to take my 10 mil and I'm going to... Uh, 
undo this right here and I'm going to put this at the two o'clock position here. There's a little dot on there right there. Okay. Now I'm going to tighten that back up. Okay. Put our nut back on there. So get that nice and tightened back down. Alright. There we are. Now while it's running, we can fine tune this adjustment. Now get that little slapping noise out of there. Uh, let me start it up and I'll bring you back. a little bit better now. Sounds a lot better. Sweet. Well guys, that concludes it for the Honda build.